Hi Tim, thank you for joining us. What three pieces of advice would you give to someone just entering the investor relations profession today? Uh, my, first, my first piece of advice would be to, um, to take a more strategic approach probably than you, you've been taking in prior uh, positions within, within whatever company you've come, uh, come from or whatever other position you've come from. Uh, the expectation um, from your board and your senior management and your investor that you're the liaison and the facilitator uh, of information between is is much different and you need to have a broad range of, of thought and you need to you need to be quite strategic in your thinking about how to achieve multiple objectives um, and you know over a long period of time or what, over whatever period of time you're trying to uh, you know you're trying to serve that that investor as the you know as the person who's responsible for external communication to them a strategic thought process is very important the second thing I would say is you have to be uh, definitely much, I would say, very calm in a market environment. If anything over the last year has taught uh, myself and probably most other IROs is there's a lot of things that are outside of your control. And so, you know, as the stock moves and as the company is in or out of favor in a market, uh, being, you know, sort of staying calm, making sure that, you know, you understand that you're, you're who the investment community is looking for uh, to to be the calm one in terms of explaining what your company is doing, how the company is reacting, uh, what you know, what uh, measures it's taken in order to survive and and prosper, and you know, think long term and keep that keep the focus on the long term. Um, it, it takes a certain amount of calmness and and uh, in, in, a, in a very tough market condition. And the third, uh, I would say, the third thing is in my in my estimation is is having an attitude of continuous improvement so you're you're the expectations of the investment community uh, the expectations of uh, of your senior management the expectations of your board uh, are continuously evolving and whether it's whether it's use of technology whether it's managing your bu budget better allocating resources better how to how to maximize how you're doing that um, my my advice is that that you absolutely have to be um, Raising the bar always, and always be focused on on delivering the best, uh, the best you can, with what you have, and it doesn't You don't need to have the biggest budget to do that. You just have to be thinking in a way that is going to uh, going to result in in the best use of your resources to to meet your users' objectives. And my, you know, uh, technology is very important in this. Uh, certainly, a focus on what, how to use your how to use your website. How to best use your, your your package of communication tools to, to deliver the why invest and uh, and to meet all your corporate obviously your corporate disclosure requirements so those would be my three.